Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ, coming from the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. Coming up on this week's show, we've got highlights of our 2020 draw with Ospreys in Swansea. We speak to Finn Russell ahead of the upcoming RBS Six Nations, and we catch up with our new signing, Jared Firth. Glasgow Warriors played the Ospreys at the Liberty Stadium in Swansea on Sunday night. And before the game, the Ospreys were a place and a point above the Warriors in the Guinness Pro 12 League. Tough um, period after Christmas uh, with the three Champions Cup games, a lot of away games as well. Um, but I've been really pleased on how the players have trained. Yeah, they're, they're a strong squad, they're working hard, and we've seen last week and uh, down to Northampton as well. And, and today, the, the, the efforts there, a lot of the, the play is beginning to be put in place, but we just need to make sure we, we convert all the good build-up play. We were getting penalties today, but we um, we're, were frustrated that we, did, we didn't get tries when we got in the 22 in the first half and the second half. It's important to look at the league table nearer the end of the season. We, we've got our own goals over this period. We've, we've always attacked the Six Nations period um, with, with a lot of effort. Um, players have been waiting for opportunities and they know they'll, they'll get them because uh, we've got so many players involved with Scotland uh, and it's up to them to grab it. They're training well and um, we now move on to Ulster and, and we've got to prepare well for that game. Standoff Finn Russell is in the Scotland squad for the upcoming RBS Six Nations and he spoke to Warriors HQ this week ahead of Saturday's game against England. It's good last week up in St Andrews for a few days, miserable weather, but we've got some good training done before we came into it this week and a heads up to what the, the tactics and ideas were, so that was good to have that last week and then this week it's just kind of building onto the England game and and focusing on what we do and, and having a wee look at them. How is it different from your day-to-day -day work with the Warriors, the fact that you're in the Scotland camp and in the sort of hub of it in the RBS Six Nations? Uh, it's pretty similar, you know, on the pitch, you know, you still train and, and do the gym and stuff like that, as you do here at, at Glasgow, but um, I think it is slightly different with different coaches, different players being there. Um, so it's, it's, good, it's good to get that sort of variation between Glasgow and Scotland. Um, 
I, th I think that, that does definitely help and you know you get different ideas from coaches different things that they, they look for so if you have a couple of coaches telling you different things you'll be looking for for more than what you normally would be Around this time of year, the excitement sort of builds with the fans, as an increased presence on so, sort of social media, with everyone giving your back. And do you feel that sort of increase in the interest in rugby? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you look at the last couple of years, uh, the growth in supporters for the Scottish rugby has been massive, and it's grown so much. And I think they sold out these these games, the home games, you know, a few months ago. So that for us players, it's brilliant for us. Gives us that sort of boost of confidence, knowing that we have the support of the, of the whole of Scotland behind us. Um, Definitely, I think it's going the right way, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, create something special on the pitch. Uh, we take on England at the weekend in the Calcutta Cup. You must be really excited for that one. Yeah, I played you know last Calcutta Cup down in England, which was brilliant, my first first one. So hopefully get a game this weekend. But it is not. It's a, it's a special occasion for a, you know Scotsman or an Englishman. You know, it's one of these uh, rivalries that's been going on for for hundreds of years. So to have the chance to to go out there it would be you know another amazing. Uh, Experience, and what are your expectations for the tournament after the, the promise in World Cup? Hopefully, obviously not to come six like last year. That was a disappointing Six Nations for us. But um, with the World Cup that we had, you know, it was really positive, and there's a lot of things that we can take from it. And I think as players, I mean, we're not putting massive expectations on ourselves. You know, we're not expecting to win it or, or anything like that. You know, we know how hard it's going to be against these teams. So. I think for us, we've just kind of focused on our job and, and got stuck into training last week in St Andrews and, and here at Murrayfield. So we've just kind of been focusing on our job and not really been thinking too much almost of the expectations and the, and the pressure that um, you get from sort of outside. Um, if we restrict to our jobs and, and know exactly what we need to do, then hopefully we'll get a good outcome. Earlier today, we announced that 24 year old tight hip prop Jared Firth has joined the club on a two and a half year deal. And after arriving in Scotland, he spoke exclusively to Warriors HQ. Jared, welcome to Glasgow Warriors. You've signed a deal for the next two and a half years. How did the move come about? Um, you know, I was just uh, just a bit. I was just looking to come overseas. Um, had a few years in New Zealand, and um, uh, yeah, I just put a few feelers out there just to see what was was abroad. And um, you know, great opportunity of Glasgow came aboard, and uh, you know, I jumped at the chance. Um, everyone that everyone I talked to and um, all the research I, I did was. Uh, yeah, everyone just had great things to say about the club and about the city. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I jumped at the chance and I, and I could get, get over here. What were people saying? Because obviously there's been a few sort of overseas players that have come over here and, and they've done well. Did you look at their success stories? Yeah, obviously Glasgow's had a few Kiwis um, here before, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, they've, they've always done well here. So I thought, you know, there's, uh, there's no reason why I can't be successful over here as well. And you arrived in the UK for the first time uh, in your life just recently. What have you made of Scotland? Because uh, Adam Ash, he's your, your tour guide for the week, isn't he? Yeah, and no, Adam, um, we, we've got a bit of a mutual friend. Um, one of my best mates uh, back home was played a bit of footy with Adam when he was down in Christchurch. So uh, it's good to good to know a few guys before I came over. But he yeah, arrived Sunday night and um, arrived in my t-shirt and shorts and jandals and Got a bit of a surprise when I walked down in there. I walked down to the uh, out of the terminal, but um, nah, hey, it's it is what it is, and uh, you know, great Glasgow's a great city. Uh, what if, so far, it's, um, it's a few more people around than uh, Pukekohe back home, but um, nah, I'm, I'm loving it here. First couple of days and uh, just getting settled in, and everyone's been, everyone's been friendly here, hey, so loving the people here. So you know, I'm uh, really looking forward to to get going, and playing some footy. And there's an off week at the moment. You must be looking forward to when the boys return. Um, looking ahead to the next match against Ulster away from home. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good to um, it's good to get in and meet everyone, meet all the trainers and coaches, and um, you know, get my head around the playbook and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, no, like I said, I'm here now and ready to go, and I just want to get playing now and get on the training paddock and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, earn a chance to uh, be able to pull on the jersey. Warriors HQ returns next Wednesday at 5pm on Glasgow Warriors TV. Catch it all at youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors.